on strange minds remapping the world of autism by Roy Richard Grinker specifically this is some of the talents that someone with Asperger's would have that typically young people don't have autistic individuals can judge accurately the events represented in the picture as well as what lies behind them, including the character of the people represented and the mood that pervades the painting. This was noted by Hans Asperger. He also noted that there were little professors, children with enormous vocabularies and mature taste in art. All right. Another uh, person noted by Hans Asperger had studied chemistry and had noticed an error in Isaac Newton's calculations. The difference between those with autism and those with Asperger's were noted by Kanner and Asperger. Kanner had noted in his descriptions that autistic children were good with objects, meticulously arranging them, whereas Asperger said that his patients were generally clumsy. All right. So, although autistic psychopathy was renamed Asperger's syndrome, in 1981, uh, even back when Asperger uh, described it, he said it was almost impossible to do an accurate intelligent test on these people. All right, so a lot of people view them as stubborn, and they don't have the late speech, and they have highly circumscribed interests, that, and do not generally care if anyone shares the interest. So apart from having the social qualms that normal people have, it's also noteworthy to re realize how the schools will treat these individuals with Asperger's. Um, specifically, relating to why they have a lot of people with various conditions also under Asperger's, I'll read from uh, page 271. As autism diagnosis rates began to rise in the 1990s, parents started to put more pressure on their schools to come up with special programs. It's particularly true for the parents of higher functioning children with PDD-NOS, or Asperger's disorder, because they represented the largest increase in autism cases at the time. So, the reason was, if they have a class devoted to Asperger's disorder, they wouldn't have to attend completely different IEPs to write. Even though the schools always insist that every EMP IEP is by definition individualized. So, the U.S. education system, they suggest, has disseminated Asperger's disorder as a category because it is useful to attempt to make a student body as homogenous as possible. Paradoxes that identify that a child who doesn't fit in has to be somehow impaired in order to justify an effort to normalize them. 